Ram Miguel and today's video is going to be on this uh, festive uh, cocktail Diwali makeup look and uh, it's a very glittery and very out there makeup look and this is the look that I came up with and also this video is in collaboration with 14 other fabulous YouTubers and in the description bar below you will find the links to the 14 other videos and it's going to be a big variety of videos from lookbooks to DIYs uh, through to uh, to hairstyle tutorials, to uh, makeup looks, so you're going to get a good variety and yeah, you have a good variety of uh, videos to choose from and keep you entertained up until Diwali and obviously I'm sure you'll, sure you'll find all these videos helpful for your Diwali prep, at least that is what we all intended to. So yeah, I'm really excited and here is the art picture of all the YouTubers. So yeah, uh, please have a look at all the other videos. I'm sure you're going to find some fabulous channels and I'm sure you must be following most of them. And so yeah, that's that. I hope you all uh, like this video and give this look a try. And I'm talking too much. The video is long enough. So let's get right into the video and I hope you all like this. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, so let's begin. Here I'm just going to prime my eyes and I'm using my NYX eyeshadow base in skin tone. It also helps me to uh, reduce the pigmentation on my lids. Next I'm just taking a matte pink eyeshadow and I'm just going to apply that with a big uh, blending brush. And I'm just going to apply that above my crease. Uh, this is going to act as my transition shade. Next, I'm taking a medium brown eyeshadow. This one is Coco Bear from Makeup Geek. And I'm taking this on a smaller blending brush and I'm just outlining my crease. And I'm very softly blending everything. Next, I'm taking this uh, plum shade by uh, from Postal Sense Hot Pots. And I'm just going to apply that all over my lids uh, just so that we have a base color for our glitter to go on. So I'm just going to roughly pack this all over the lid. And next I'm on a pencil brush, I'm taking some black eyeshadow, very little. And I'm just uh, applying that on the inner and outer corner. And on the outer corner, you can see I'm making like a small V shape, inverted V. And I'm just going to uh, fill that in just very little by little. And also I'm going to outline uh, the crease with the, the black eyeshadow and I'm just going to apply very little of it and here I'm just blending that uh, black uh, eyeshadow before I apply the glitter and I'm just uh, softly blending everything and I'm just deepening up that black eyeshadow just a little bit and I'm, next I'm just applying my highlighting shade it's just a little bit shimmery and I'm just going to take that. Next I'm taking this uh, glitter gel from Krylon and taking this pink uh, mauve kind of a glitter and I'm just applying that on to my lids. Uh, I'm leaving the inner and outer corner of my eyes as is. I'm not applying any glitter on that part. I'm sorry I'm just going out of focus because I was just trying to go near my mirror. And next I'm just going to apply just a little bit of that black eyeshadow just to outline the crease and very lightly I'm just going over that black eyeshadow again and I'm going to let the glitter dry. Next I'm applying a liquid eyeliner. I find a liquid liner is easier to apply on glitter rather than a gel eyeliner so I'm just applying a liquid eyeliner and I'm just following the wing on through the, the V shape that I created with the black uh, eyeshadow. Next I'm just applying uh, my mascara and I'm just going to apply my red cherry lashes and next moving on to the face makeup now I'm doing my foundation and once I'm done with my face uh, base makeup actually then I'm going to do my lower lash line because I wanted everything to be done. So I'm just going to apply this cream uh, foundation. This is a new foundation I'm trying from Reserve Natural. So I'm just buffing that with my Makeup Geek foundation brush. Next I'm just concealing the extra darkness under my eye with the orange corrector. And then I'm just going to go over with a concealer. 
so I'm just blending this with my finger you can obviously use a brush also I'm just patting that corrector in and next I'm just going to use my uh, Krylon Supra foundation as my concealer and I'm using my Makeup Geek uh, highlighting brush to stipple down the concealer next I'm doing uh, contouring and uh, I'm trying to create like some cheekbones for myself hence I've just kind of curved the contour so I'm just going to do that and uh, next I'm just going to apply it on my forehead on my jaws my chin nose and all of that so here again I'm taking uh, the uh, contour cream uh, just a little bit because I wanted to give myself a sharper jawline than I have so yeah i'm doing glitter so why not go all out with the highlighting and contouring also so here i'm just going to uh, contour my nose and just applying whatever is left on the brush i'm just going to do that and yeah i'm just basically contouring my nose at this point and next i'm just going to blend everything i'm using my real technique sculpt face sculpting brush I think this is called I'm just going to uh, buff everything so I'm just trying to be careful near the cheek area so that I don't happen to go more up or more down than where uh, the contour needs to be so I'm just taking my time with that and I'm just uh, buffing everything into place and next I'm going to go over with a contour powder also on the areas where I have contoured. So next I'm just trying to buff my nose uh, contour. Next I'm just applying a concealer. It's like 2-3 shades lighter than my skin tone. So I'm just using that as my highlighter. And I'm just going to create this triangle under my eyes and my forehead. And then I'm just highlighting on the bridge of my nose and around my uh, mouth also. And I'm taking the same highlighter, uh, cheek highlighter brush by Makeup Geek and I'm just going to blend uh, the highlighter oh my god I, I'm not able to talk so yeah I'm just going to blend the highlighter and that's that next I'm just taking a bronzer and it's also pretty dark so I'm just going to blend that wherever I've done the contouring I've just fast forwarded everything because the video was getting very longer and I've already done this in my previous videos so I just thought of fast forwarding everything so I'm just trying to make sure I'm blending everything really nicely and I'm just setting my under eye concealer uh, with a powder compact rest of the face I'm not uh, putting any powder and now I'm just applying uh, my sleek uh, blush very lightly I'm not going for a very pigmented uh, blush look because the eyes are pretty heavy and I am going to be using a brighter lip color as well so I'm just trying to blend the foundation the blush and I'm applying my favorite favorite highlighter it is the balm Mary luminizer I'm just applying that on the top part of my cheeks and I'm making sure it's nice and blended and I'm just going to apply this on the tip of my nose not all the way across And next I'm just going to take this uh, eyeshadow and I'm just going to fill my brows. So once that is done, I'm just going to take my uh, this plum eyeshadow once again on my color bar eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to apply that on to my lower lash line. And I'm just going to apply like very little eyeshadow at a time because I've already done my concealer. And I do not want any fallouts under my eye. So I'm just taking very little eyeshadow at a time and I'm just going to uh, kind of blend it really nicely on my lower lash line. 
next i'm taking this medium brown eye shadow and i'm just going to uh, blend that below the plum eye shadow just to smoke it out just a little bit more next i'm taking a black gel eyeliner and i'm just lining my lower waterline with that you can use any coal pencil or anything also for that matter so now i'm moving on to the lips we are almost done guys i know it's been a long video so i'm just applying mac rebel on the outer corner of my uh, lips and on the inside i'm going to fill it up with st lauder double uh, i think st lauder nv lipstick i don't know it, the name is dominant so i'm just going to apply that and here is the final look so it's a very glittery, festive, holiday kind of a makeup look. I hope you all like this and give this look a try. And please subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I'm going to see you next time. And I just applied a bindi here for the Indian touch. I'll see you next time. Bye.